For today's video, I just wanted to inform you guys that it is two days post heptathlon. Um, where we start in the vlog is going up to Seattle and then kind of like it'll kind of trickle off because I stopped vlogging during the meet. I didn't want to vlog during the meet, I wanted to focus. And it pays off. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. So, cue the beginning of the travel to Seattle right now. Bye, Bubby. I love you. We're going to the meet this morning. Yep, we're going to the meet this morning. That's about it. We're going up to Seattle. Good morning, everybody. What is happening? What is going on? Today is, hold on. I think it's the 23rd. Today is the 23rd. Today is Thursday, February 23rd. We are loading up the car because we're driving to the bus that's going to take us to Seattle. So today is going to be a travel vlog because we are going up to Seattle for a track meet. It's actually MPSFs. It's my last chance to qualify for NCAAs. Kind of a big deal. This is our normal stop in Centralia, so we stop in Centralia every time to get lunch for like 30 minutes before we go all the way back up to Seattle. It's definitely not a halfway point, so I don't know why we stop here, but we do. I got two sandwiches, and now we're going to Starbucks, because gotta have my coffee in the morning. This is actually going to get included in today's vlog because today's vlog is the Q&A. So I obviously haven't recorded the Q&A yet, but I need to do that very shortly. Warming up before yeah, MPSS, well, I mean, it getting be ready. Like, um, it's gonna be a good time. Um, we got the whole crew, not the whole crew, some of the crew here. Are you ready? Yeah, it's gonna be fun meet. I'm ready. Get this, get this, okay. Can't do that. Can't do that. Wow! I did not expect that at all. <laughs> hey, Madeline. Hello. Hey, Mitch's vlog. Hey, Colin. Hey, Whitson. Sco throws. Bye. Um, it's kind of rough because all of our teammates, all my teammates, already did their warm-ups or whatever. So now we're all just kind of sitting around waiting to leave. But. We'll just talk to people. Well, oh, my, my. Hey, Mitch's vlog. Sorry, <laughs> making my weekly appearance. Um, 
Yes. It's good. <laughs> How's it feeling? Feels good. Getting that calf worked on. Achilles. Nice. You taking over the vlog? I'm taking over the vlog. Hey Vanessa. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I don't need my pores on the vlog. Okay, I'll scoot back. <laughs> it's good quality. Anything else to say? Um, I love Mitch. You love Mitch? I don't lie. Why are you lying? I oh. Chloe a little bit more. Chloe. And yeah. Go Ducks. Go Ducks. I need to meet Chloe. I have not met Chloe yet. Oh wait, I have. I haven't met her. I've seen her like oh. once. But yeah. Hey Sasha. Hey. Hey vlogs. How are we doing? Good. How are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're so cute. Hello. Hey Deja. Hey vlog. Mitch's vlog. Hey Hannah. Hey. <laughs> hey, Mackenzie. So you got one? Oh, okay, girl. Hit okay. him with that juice. Juice. Hey, Kyrie. What's up? What do you have to say to the vlog? The vlog? Mm -hmm. vlog. Mitch's vlog. Hey, Mitch's vlog. You ready for tomorrow? Yeah, I'm ready to run fast. You're going to run fast? All right. How do you think you're going to do? Me. Time wise. Um. I don't know how I'm gonna do, but I want to run 65 20.7. We heard it here first, so let's see if it happens. Hey Marcus, hey, hey. how you doing? Good. Hey Juice, yeah. <laughs> you look relaxed. <laughs> Chill. I got a lot. In, is this everyone? Like, oh wow. Where's the distance? Yeah, <laughs> I talked to everyone. Do they run back? No, they're running. Oh, I see some. No, there's not much to um do right now. Tomorrow will be more fun, kind of. We'll be competing, so I don't know how that'll work. Hey, Maggie. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Anything to say to Mitch's vlog? Um, here we are out in Seattle. Having yeah. a good old time in the Dempsey. You're getting um, ready for tomorrow. Getting ready for a 5K tomorrow. Oh! Sko Ducks. Sko Ducks. Let's <laughs> All right. We're gonna finish. How'd it go? Good. Anything oh, else to say? <laughs> All right. I'm checking out. It's nice to be back. Feels good. All right. Thanks, Ron. You did okay. great. Bye. But what I did is I got underneath the second round. Oh God! We're all going to eat for the second time. We did a shakeout, and that was where Rana filmed basically everything. And so she kind of went around and talked to everybody. So if you guys remember Maggie from yesterday's vlog. Ooh. If you remember Maggie from yesterday's vlog, she's the she's the genius doctor. We are not going to the meet. I'm not going to vlog anything. Somebody record some stuff. I'll put it in. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Okay, bye. Alright, so I'm going to record this really fast because I'm going to go to bed. Like, I'm literally going to get into bed right now. Um, it is 9.49, the day after the first day of the decath or the night after the first day of the decathlon, um, or the heptathlon. Wow, I can't talk. I'm tired. Um, and it's going pretty well so far. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye. Like I said earlier, it is two days later now, and I wanted to go back and reflect on the heptathlon and what I thought of it. Um, I did qualify for nationals, just get that out of the way. I scored 57.47, I believe, which is sitting me right around like 12th or 13th, I think, in the country right now. Top 16 go to nationals, so I should be safe. No matter kind of what happens, I should be okay. Um, but let's walk through the heptathlon. I don't have any video of it. I got one video of the long jump, but it was not a very good jump, so I don't really want to put it in. Uh, let's start off with the 60. So the 60 meters, I ran in 7.09 seconds, which is okay. Not necessarily what I should be running. Uh, we went on to long jump first. This might be one of the first competitions where I've ever had three clean jumps. I didn't foul any jumps. The first one was like 698 or 696. 
Next one was like 680 something. And then my third jump, I actually like competed pretty well and jumped 722, which was an indoor PR for me, not an outdoor PR. It's just like 23.9 or 23.10 or something like that. Um, it was actually a pretty good jump for me, especially jumping up in Seattle. That's a place where the long jump isn't usually the best. Next we went to shot put, and again, <clears throat> I threw an indoor PR for me, which was 13.55. It's like close to 45 feet, I think. Maybe, yeah, close to 45 feet, I think. Um, 13.55 is meters, by the way. If I say like 0.55 or point something, it's usually meters, feet, I kind of just convert. Uh, next, we went to high jump, and that's going to be the last thing of the day. I jumped 197, which was considerably better than my last multi. 197 is like 6'5", because 2 meters is 6'6 six, six and 3 quarters. So it's 6'5 and like a quarter of an inch or something like that. Something close to that. You guys can't quote me on my conversions because I'm not the best at them. Then we go home, we sleep, we get rest, we eat as much as we can, come back the next day. We started the next day at 10 o'clock, so that means we had a shakeout at 6.30. Didn't film any of that, because I was tired. Um, went back to the track at like around 8.30ish, 9ish, and then started a warm up for hurdles. Ran hurdles, uh, literally hit every single hurdle, even cut open my knee on one of the hurdles, and I ran like 8.28. It really should have been a lot faster of a race. I do have coffee. It should have been a lot faster of a race, but it just wasn't clean, so it wasn't very fast. Next event was pole vault. And pole vault is probably, it's technically and figuratively and literally and everything, it is the best I've ever jumped ever. So outdoors, indoors, that was the best I've ever jumped. I jumped 490. I finally jumped 16 feet, so that was a huge deal for me. I don't have any video of it, so I, don't, I can't really prove it except for the marks. But it was, it was great for me. I finally got on those bigger poles and it definitely pays off. So I'm used to jumping on 16 sevens. Um, the pole that I was trying to get on in practice, the one that I was struggling with, the one that you guys know about, was a 15 nine and these are flex numbers. It was a 15 nine and then in the meet I actually got down to a 15 five and a 15 two and probably should have been on the 14 seven at one point. So I think the next meet, which will be nationals, and is down in Texas in College Station, will be by far my best pole vaulting of my life thus far. Next event was the 1000, and to win the meet, I basically had to stay within 11 seconds of the guy in second place, and by no means am I good at the 1000, and it's something that like is kind of embarrassing for me, but I kind of got to work with it, and I did improve a little bit from the last meet, so that was a good thing. I ended up running like... 250 or something and won the meet by like 30 some points. So not bad, not good, but definitely qualified for NCAAs. Overall, it was the best heptathlon I've ever done. Um, I PR'd in one event overall and then had two indoor PRs in the long jump and the shot put. So it was a good heptathlon and I was really happy with how everything went. I competed really well. That was one thing that was like a real plus was that like I never gave up on any of the events. Pole vault was definitely the highlight of the meet. It was, uh, like I said earlier, the best I have ever jumped. And it was pretty crazy. Um, finally got in that 16 foot club, so I'm up there. Next is the five meter club, because once you jump five meters, you're kind of, kind of sort of like a real pole vaulter. And not just a decathlete, but most good decathletes jump five meters. So there's that. Um, I was going to say something else, but that's about it. Um, I think we're going to end today's vlog there because I just wanted to recap the multi and tell you guys what happened, how it went, what all went down, how I did, everything about the event, and it was great. Also, I'm MPSF champion, which is our indoor conference. It's basically like Pac-12 champion, but not quite as glorified. So, yeah. It was a good meet. I'm happy with how it went, and this is just a little recap. Sorry I don't have any footage of it, it's just kind of what went down. I have a footage of the 60, but 60 wasn't very good, and so I'm just not going to put it in. Same as long jump. But, like always, remember, be nice to people, work hard, uh, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance so fast, and I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.